anywhere you are, you can look around a room and see what biodiversity brought to you and the things that our life um, would be meaningless without biological diversity. And um, we find that over and over as we find impoverished systems, bringing them down to a level where there's less diversity. Often they, the systems themselves crash and then people have to um, spend lots and lots of money to try to recreate what biodiversity already does for us, and a lot of times they can't even accomplish that. This year, the uh, global community is going to be coming together in October and November in Japan, and I think people are taking very seriously understanding what we need to be doing and setting a suite of goals that are um, as challenging as the ones that we've had before, but hopefully ones that we'll be able to meet. We work a lot at the local level. We feel that that's where we can have the biggest impact. And so our goals are for um, working with our local communities to make sure that we have strategies in place that really have conservation and sustaining uh, cultural and linguistic diversity at these local levels in, at the center of what it is that we're doing and really focusing in on those and not necessarily worrying as much as people have in the past about economic gain or um, some of the value systems that have been um, placed on us from the exterior, we're re-evaluating at these local levels and thinking about what does it mean to be a Solomon Islander and what's important to the people in the Solomon Islands and let's make sure that those are the values and the systems that emerge in the next decade of thinking about biological diversity.